boy is missing, senior. I want you to have your seat. This morning we have a couple of things to do. We have a communion service today. Where we're going to drink the blood and eat the flesh. Doing that in the remembrance of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that the covenant of today's service will continue to speak on your behalf to the glory of God. And I hear you say a better amen. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, the resurrection of Jesus has given me hope. And from today, from now, I shall no longer be a failure. I shall no longer be a disgrace to my generation. Say neighbor, I can't hear you. Say neighbor, the death of Jesus, the death certificate of Jesus has given to me a bad certificate. Say neighbor, the condemnation of Jesus has given me confirmation of prosperity. Say neighbor, the wounds of Jesus has given me healing. If your neighbor believe it, can you say something? Let me hear. Put your hands together. Let your enemy know you are alive. This morning, I'm, I'm going to check you on a topic that is titled The Hope in Resurrection. Touch your neighbor, say your neighbor, the hope in resurrection. I didn't hear you. Say neighbor, the hope in resurrection. Say it again, neighbor, the hope in resurrection. I, I, I want to make us understand a few things this morning. I didn't come this morning to give you the history of things you've been hearing. Because I know you've heard about how Jesus was tortured, molested, chastened. How he was ass assaulted. How they brought a, 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 a wine can and all the floggings. All the things he went through because of you and because of her. But I want to say something to you. I have come here this morning to tell you that all those things Jesus went through at that time brought hope to mankind. So this morning, I'm not here to repeat the history that happened years ago. I'm here to tell you the hope that followed the history that took place years ago. Ask your neighbor, are you ready to hear the hope it brought to us? Amen. Take me to Matthew 27, 51 to 52. Thank you, Father. Matthew chapter 27. Yes. From verse 51. And 52. And behold, the veil of this temple was rent in twain. When he gave up the spirit, something happened. The veil of the temple divided into two. God broke it. From the top to the bottom. From the top to where? I can't hear you. From the top to where? The bottom. To the bottom. Yes. And the earthquake did quake and the rocks rent. An earthquake came and what happened? Rock rents. Amen. And the grave were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Now many bodies of the saints arose. Now what is our pure message? Our pure message was that the death of Jesus gave hope to mankind. The death of Jesus brought hope of restoration to those who believe that Jesus is Lord. And that is why whenever it comes to Easter celebrations, when we're supposed to remember the history that's taking place, what we're supposed to do is just simple. Let us understand and know the hope that Jesus brought to mankind. Take me to John chapter 14 verse 6. He brought a simple message to mankind. When he resurrected again, that's the Anipo song that says, Oh, oh, believe. Oh, believe. 
Hallelujah. Christ be. Let me tell you. Oh, be John 14, verse 6. John 14, 6, yes. Jesus said unto him, And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the way, the truth, I am the truth, and the life. And I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No man cometh to the Father except by me. So, being a way is a person. Being the truth is a person. And being life is a person. And that person is the person of the man who death could not hold back. Even in that grave, he was God. He ran it as God. Death could not hold him back. At the third day, he overcame death and resurrected again. When Jesus wanted to send back to his father's house, he decided to live with us the office of the Holy Ghost. In John 14, he says, I shall send you a comforter in my name. And that comforter is the what? Is the Holy Ghost. That is why Romans make it clear that when you have received the baptism of the it quickens your body. And you become strong, strengthened again here on earth. The hope he has given to us is so simple that the man that died and resurrected that death could not hold bow is the way, the truth, and the life. When you accept me in your life, you make heaven. When you accept me in your life, you connect to the way that takes you to heaven. When you accept me in your life, the spirit of truth lives in you. When you accept me in your life, he said, you shall live again. When the voice shall come. You know, the dead will hear the voice. Car. The dead will hear the voice. I don't know if you have gotten that revelation. The dead will do what? Who hear the voice. Thank you, Father. Take me John, John chapter 5, 25. The dead will hear the voice. John 5, 25. Yes, sir. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Very, very, I said unto you. The hour is coming and now is. The hour is coming and now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. When the dead shall hear the voice of who? Son of God. So many times shall come when the voice shall come. The dead will equally hear the voice. And they that hear shall live. And they that hear shall do what? Live. I can't hear you. They that hear shall do what? Live. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus brought hope to mankind that we shall have opportunity to have a life again when you live in Christ Jesus. And that is why he said to them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So when you believe in me as the way and as the truth and the life, you'll have a life again, you believe, and hell shall not be thy portion, but heaven shall be thy portion. Amen? Can I prophesy to you? If you're a believer of Christ, can I prophesy to you? Lift up your right hand above your head. As you receive Christ in your life today, may he speak in every ramification to you to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take me to Romans 8, 11. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Yes, sir. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwelleth in you, uh -huh. if the spirit of what? Him. Him that does what? That did what? Raise up Jesus that from the dead. That resurrected Jesus from the dead. Dwell in you. Dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead. He that raised up Christ from the dead. Shall also quicken your mortal body. Shall bodies. also quicken your mortal body. By his spirit that dwelleth in you. Uh -huh. So if thou can believe in the Lord Jesus. And I say to my soul, Lord, I best not save you. And receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which is the indwelling spirit of God to dwell in you. Let me tell you at the resurrection morning, you shall be alive again. Oh, yes. 
you shall be alive again. So the hope he has given to mankind is that we shall be alive again. Even if you're dead, from this sinful word and God, that is an opportunity that when his voice shall roar, the dead shall hear and they shall come back to alive. I don't know how many people that shall join to that glory. Kind. This one is not my home kind. I'm just a passing. My treasures are laid down somewhere beyond the blue. The angels become me from my And I can feel a hole in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, oh, yeah, then Lord. Him 21. Thank you, Father. Are you there? Have you been to Jesus for the clean simple? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you Trust in his grace, this I was in the blood of the Lamb. Let me hear you, church. Are you all? Are you all? Are you all? In the blood of the Are you coming? Are you coming? Smoke is on the fire as long as you wash in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood? Oh yeah. So oh, yeah, how you walk in the blood of the Lamb. His resurrection will not be in vain for you. I didn't hear you, church. I said his resurrection will not be in vain for you. Lift up your hands, say, My Father, I join my faith with the faith of the prophet. I decree and declare this morning that thy resurrection shall bring life to me. I will not be a failure. I said I will not be a failure. I will not be a failure. I will not be a failure. In my life, I will not be a failure. In my family, I will not be a failure. In every areas of my life, I will not be a failure. May the grace and mercy continue to speak in our lives. And may the joy of the Lord continue to be our strength. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Can I talk to our online members? Lord, I prophesy to every soul watching me from any part of the world. I'm using this resurrection remembrance to bless your life and family. The God of my grace, who has never put me to shame, shall not put you to shame. 
Every expectation as a desire in life. Whatsoever you desire as a man or woman. Being it through of the womb. Marital breakthrough. Financial breakthrough and favor. New job. Academic promotion. Whatsoever healing in your life. Because that grave could not hold God back, I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you shall be part of the testimony of God's resurrection. Your testimony shall come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. I bless you today that by the end of this year, thy testimony, thy miracle shall be established and the world shall know that the finger of God has done something to you. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. And the church shall say,